Hey guys, what's up, Cancer? Thanks for watching. This is going to be a two card spread for your day ahead. Um, for Thursday, this is timeless, so whenever you're seeing it, it's meant to, you are meant to see it. Please keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the person that you are dealing with. Um, let's see. This is a general reading, so this will not resonate with everyone. Um, but if it does resonate with you today, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Alright, Cancer. Day ahead for Cancer. Situation, any problems you may face, any outcome. Three cards for Cancer for the day ahead, please. What does Cancer need to know? Card for Cancer. Alright, we'll take them as one, three. Oh, that's way too many. We're not taking that many. Some disappointment there on someone though. Cancer. Day ahead for cancer. Seeing that five of cups. Thank you. Oh. Alright, damn. There you go, cancer. That's how you start off a reading. Situation is the tower. Something changed. The obstacles you face or the person you're dealing with faces you get the nine of swords this anxiety worry and for your outcome you get the wheel of fortune bottom of the deck the ace of cups someone that you've dealt with in the past you could have been married to this person they could have been in a tours um doesn't have to be any of those things but let's see your numbers are breaking down to an eight which is about change and there's some fear around this change. Something is changing and it's moving forward and this is part of destiny so there ain't really anything anybody can do about it but it's causing some worry. Show me this tower for cancer for the day ahead please. Tower. Something is definitely changing for you. Yeah, someone is manifesting bottom of the deck for a while. It's possibly you. Somebody is wanting to come forward. Oh. Towards a connection here, but somebody, the Knight of Wands is a player, and you have the Seven of Swords there. What are they manifesting? Show me this magician for Cancer for the day ahead, please. Thank you. Yeah, I'm trying to put in work. This could be um, related to work for some of you guys. Um, with the Eight of Pentacles, but it's like something is changing, and somebody is now putting in the work on something here. Possibly to bring some type of healing to a connection to your home life. And this could have to do with work. It's like you're manifesting some type of change. Possibly trying to um, get a business off the ground or something like that. There's worry over it. Show me this nine of swords for cancer for the day ahead. Why is cancer so worried? Nine of swords for cancer for the day ahead. Five of Swords. Somebody may have been playing dirty here. There could have been some type of argument. Bottom of the deck, Two of Cups with the High Priestess. There could have been some type of secret, some type of conflict. And somebody's really worried about that now. It's like a change. Something, something changed here. Six of Wands. Yeah, somebody um, could be holding back now. After this argument or whatever this was. Yeah, it's five of wands. Um, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Temperance. You got Sagittarius energy. But it's like there's a new cycle of healing. Possibly, you know, something ended so something else could begin. It doesn't have to be. But whatever it was, there was conflict around this. There was some type of argument. Somebody was out for their self. And now they're worried. Because shit's changing. Show me this will of fortune for cancer for the day ahead, please. Mm, too many, but... Too many. Show me this will of fortune for cancer for the day ahead, please. This is... 
So it's Will of Fortune is a good luck card, though. It is Destiny, the Moon, Pisces. What is hidden? Um, anyways, the Will of Fortune is, like I said, is um, from the planet of Jupiter. It's a good luck card, but it is about destiny, karma, fate. You have more Taurus energy here. Clarify this Empress. This could be a wife, a mother, but it's like things are moving forward for somebody, but it may be hidden here. What is this moon? You could just be dealing with the Pisces here, but there's something you're definitely worried about. Possibly somebody is move, moving forward. You get the, um, the judgment and the fool. Possibly you're moving forward with something and you're keeping it to yourself here. This could be hidden from you. There's definitely, um, you got the fool and the, the will of fortune. Things are, things are moving forward. You may not be able to see that right now. This moon, this could be hidden from you. For some of you, this, this could be a reconciliation. Thought of something that you possibly thought was over with this change and you're worried about it. And now somebody, it's moving forward. Somebody's taking a leap of faith, possibly, um, Yeah, the Seven of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody could have options, and they're they're going um, towards where they want to invest their time. This could be you going towards, you know, a person that that um, that you kind of see as wife and material, or vice versa. I don't think that you see this is coming yet, though. And that's why you're so worried about it. With that moon there, it's like it's hidden from you. But something something is moving forward. Somebody is taking a leap of faith. They're feeling good about doing so. They're making a decision. And it's moving forward. They're sticking to the decision. Possibly going after, you know, some type of commitment here with this Ace of Pentacles. The world at the bottom. So it's like things are finally moving forward. So if this is you, um, don't be in your head and worrying because I don't feel like there's a need for you to be. The swords are self-imposed and sometimes with this five of swords, we become so determined, stubborn, and hard-headed, we keep ourselves in this energy. And there's, there's no need to. Bottom of the deck, the sun is the happiest card in the deck. And, and the Wheel of Fortune, there's no getting around that. That thing's moving forward, and somebody is moving forward optimistically, possibly towards a Taurus or just someone that, you know, stable, grounded, some type of commitment here, some type of home, um, some type of long term commitment, possibly a reconciliation. This could be someone from your past, you know, showing back up. This could be, um, certain past issues that need to be addressed and they're getting addressed so if this is you cancer stay out your head there's no need to be in that and you have the tower there is change coming there's a little fortune is there that's destiny that's fate all right cancer card for cancer for the day ahead Okay. Separation. Time apart. Yeah. Something may be changing here and you guys have went into a separation and that's why, you know, possibly there's arguments and you're all worried about it now. But divine timing is at work here. This, um, there's no need to worry. So, you know, if this is your tower moment and something is changing, try to stay out of your head. 
And I know that's easier said than done, but you do have the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Pentacles here for the outcome, the Empress, the Fool, and the bottom of the deck, pure happiness. So, um, whatever the situation is, it's going to resolve itself. This change may be a little overwhelming, whatever this power moment is. All right, Cancer, this is what I have for you. Hope this helped. Hope this resonated. If so, please like and subscribe below. You guys take care, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.